Welcome Aries and thank you for being here today. This is your yearly love message for 2021. Week commencing Friday the 1st of January through to Friday the 31st of December 2021. Aries, I've already pulled your crowning message cards and your crowning wisdom message cards. Let's take a look and see what they're saying. For your first crowning message, you have balance. And the description around this card, it says, I seek and maintain healthy balance in my life. The second uh, card you have is wisdom. I use my knowledge and experience to make wise decisions. And this is one of my favourite cards, protection. I am loved and protected. Okay, Aries, for 2021, I feel as though Divine Spirit Universe is saying that it's really important to keep yourself grounded over Whoever you're thinking about, a current situation, it could be work, it could be family, it could be relationships. And I feel as though you're being guided to know that um, it's really important to stay grounded and not operate from that place of clouded thinking. It's as though by keeping yourself grounded, connecting with your higher self, divine spirit universe, I feel as though something will be illuminated to you um, and guide you towards um, your strength. So by keeping yourself grounded with Mother Earth, um, allowing divine to come in and illuminate whatever needs to be illuminated for you so that you don't operate from a place of cloudiness or a lack of clarity, um, that's where your strength is going to come in. So I feel as though you're being guided to use the strength of Mother Earth, connect with her, she will strengthen you and, and, and keep you grounded. Um, with this wisdom card, um, Aries, I feel as though you're being guided as whatever is going on or whatever's going to go on for 2021, um, which we will see in your cards. I feel as though you're going to need more information, more knowledge, and you're being guided to use that knowledge and wisely. Um, you may have gone through um, an experience or a situation that you may have to really look at that detail again um, because there was a learning in there um, that I feel that you are being guided to use for whatever is coming towards you for 2021 by keeping grounded, knowing that you have the wisdom within you because you've gone through a similar experience and whatever you learnt from it, this is the time for you to apply it. And the protection card, how beautiful is that? Um, you're being guided to know that you are loved and you are protected. And this is your higher self, divine spirit universe, however uh, you, you coin it, however you resonate with it. So whatever is going to be coming towards you in 2021, the key thing is, A, you've got the knowledge and wisdom within you to deal with it. Keep yourself grounded and have faith. Trust that you are loved, you're protected and um, you will get through this, whatever it is. Whatever it is. For your crowning wisdom message. Oh, look at this. I am. You know that? That whole red is around that root chakra. Um, whatever you need to remain balanced, connect with that root chakra because you have a strong foundation. Whatever has gone on um, in 2020 or previous years, you have the knowledge and the wisdom. You have a strong foundation. You know who you are. You know where you're going. Lean on your root chakra right now. OK, then we have transformation. Let love transform you forever. And I feel as though um, Aries, 
there is something that obviously is going on for 2021 that's going to come towards you, which we'll see in your message. Um, I feel as though it's going to transform you. Now, it can go two ways. Either somebody you're thinking about um, doesn't feel the same way you feel about them and it's going to trip you up for a hot minute. But I feel the transformation is around if you've gone through a similar situation under similar circumstances, you're in that stage of full transformation, knowing that you have the wisdom and the knowledge within you to get through it by keeping yourself grounded and balanced and just know that you're protected. And it may be letting you know that part of that transformation is A, loving yourself first and B, there may be a new love on the horizon. So like they say, when one door closes, another door opens. That's what I'm picking up with this card. The other message that I'm getting is that if there are certain cycles, patterns or behaviours that you haven't properly closed out in 2020, you may be fully closing that out in 2021, going through that transformation. And as that as that kind of reward or blessing coming in, um, whoever you're thinking about, I feel as though your your heart is going to be open to this love. And, and that's that's the transformation that you've gone through. So it's kind of twofold messages. Oh, sorry, the mantra um, around attached to this card, I'll read it to you. It says, the seeds of love germinate inside my heart and bloom into unlimited creative expression. I'm surrendering into the mysterious and generous flow of life. And yeah, it, it, it feels as though this, it, it starts with self-love. It starts with self-love. And I feel once you love yourself, divine universe spirit will bring that to you. It, it, it will... It, it will just attract, it's that law of attraction, um, law of abundance, law of attraction. What you put out there is what you will receive. So whatever you are going to be going through for 2021, I feel as though it's going to be a transform transformative time for you. Um, and the key, it starts with self-love. It does start with self-love, always. Your second crowning message, actually, let me hold this up here. Your second crowning message, and, and this is a beautiful card as well. Turn over a new page. Let love lead the way for change. So I feel as if these two cards are very much in conjunction with each other. Um, there is change coming towards you, and it may unbalance you for a hot minute, um, Aries, but I feel as though that you have the wisdom and the knowledge within you to handle it. Um, and what's really I love about this card is that this image has got a teardrop and it feels as though this protection that is around you, that you're loved and protected. I feel as though it's Mother Earth letting you know, release, release what doesn't serve you and allow her wind to come in and blow away um, this teardrop and fill your heart with the fragrance of love, self-love, new love possibly. The mantra around um, turn over a new page is as follows. I'm opening my heart to give and receive more love. Absolutely. So you may actually have a new love coming through, coming your way. Um, and I feel as though the transformation um, that you're going to go through possibly possibly is completely dissolving and cutting the cords of old patterns, old behaviours, um, old love. And as you do so, look at this card, return to joy. We are here to experience joy. And one of the things that I love, again, with these cards, I mean, these cards are beautiful anyway. Um, I feel as though you're being guided with the wisdom to hold your peace, um, hold your happiness, hold your joy. 
um, and to remember that we are spiritual beings having a, a human experience and the trials and tribulations, the ups and downs when it comes to matters of the heart is part of that experience. But I feel as though when we learn and grow and we move to that next level, there's always going to be something um, that kind of may catch us a little bit off guard, unbalancing us. And then you think to yourself, did I not deal with that? Did I not learn from that? Why is Divine Spirit Universe bringing it back round again? I feel as if you have because you've got the wisdom within you to deal with it. So whatever comes towards you, don't let it unbalance you. And I feel as though as you love yourself, you're enabling yourself to receive love within divine love. Your higher self loves you um, and is protecting you. And I feel as though that may be the wisdom that you need to look into for 2021. Again, it could also mean um, a, a new love coming your way to really blow away those tears of past hurt, past heartache. And it's all part of that beautiful transformation, Aries, that you'll be going through in 2021. Okay, Aries, if this message is resonating for you already, please feel free to click the thumbs up on this video. And if you would like to know when I'm uploading new messages, please also feel free to subscribe. I welcome you to Spirit and Truth um, Tarot. And also, I just want to say thank you because it really does help to support the channel. So I am grateful and I just want to say thanks. Um, Aries, for the yearly love message, um, the formation of the card will be slightly different. The first row will be the first half of the year. The second row will be the second half of the year. And they may intertwine depending on how how the cards lay out and, and how the messages are delivered to me to, to speak. Um, and then we'll have a top layer um, to, to look at the total outcome, um, the overall outcome, I should say, for 2021. Okay, Aries, let's get into your love message. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you tell me, how does the soulmate of Aries Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love. Week commencing Friday the 1st of January through to Friday the 31st of December 2021. What is their current energy spiritually, emotionally, mentally and physically towards Aries that I'm allowed to see for their highest good and <clears throat> for their greater good of and for the greater good of all as above so below and all around me thank you all right let's have a look my angels and spirit whoop, straight away look at that disappointment my thank you the Eight of Swords, my angels and spirit guides of the divine, thank you. The Lover's Card, my angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me, thank you. Wow, we have the Fool card. Wow, we've got the World card. Aries, what I tell you something, something's closing out and something new's coming in for sure. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me how does the soulmates of Aries, thank you, that flipped, and we have the four of swords, okay. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me how does the soulmates of Aries, sun, moon, rising and Venus, Feel towards them in love for the second half of 2021. Wow, okay. So we have the Eight of Coins. We have the Ace of Swords. We have the Empress. We have 
the Ace of Cups. Thank you. We have the Three of Coins and one more. Thank you. Wow, we have the Palace of Coins. Okay, Aries. All right, straight off the bat, um, you're dealing with a twin flame. Um, very, very deep soul connection. They most definitely see you as a twin flame for sure. Um, and around the middle of the year, they're going to want a new beginning around love with you. Um, let's uh, call out any major arcanas, which we have uh, Gemini popping out here for now. All right. So to start off in January, I feel as though this person feels disappointed, um, trapped in their mind. They're in this mental prison I feel over you who they see as a twin flame to them. Um, I feel as though, and this is this is running through from January to March, and I feel fr from April, they're going to want a new beginning with you or you're going to want a new beginning with this person. Recognising that um, either you've come through a major transformation because it's right underneath transformation, uh, closing out a cycle, um, and an, a new cycle is beginning and this is new love. I don't know whether or not it's this person that's disappointed or it could be new love entirely. And we did pick that up with the crowning messages. As this cycle closes, um, Aries, around this June uh, time, the first, the latter part of the first half of 2021, I feel as though you are going to really be thinking quite a lot, resting your mind. Um maybe around communication, trying to put past situations behind you, holding on to a love connection um, for, you know, for dear life, really. And it, this could be the same person, but they're in this mental prison um, in, in around February, and it could be some sort of truth was spoken. That's why that they're disappointed. I feel as though as we enter into the second half of 2021, whoever is disappointed um, in January, they're really going to be looking at the detail of this disappointment. Um, so whatever's going on for a hot minute, they may feel a little bit unbalanced and they may be guided to go within to figure out why is they're feeling unbalanced, disappointed, Um and they may come in and speak their truth. And I feel they might come in and speak their truth um, around that August month simply to just break out of this mental prison. And I feel they're coming and speaking their truth to you, who they see as this empress energy, male or female, it doesn't matter. I feel as though they see you as... Um, somebody that is um, grounded, abundant, fertile. They may want to have a family with you. They think the world of you. They really, really do. Um, and I feel that like they're coming in, speaking some sort of truth to you. And I feel as though you're quite receptive to it. And it's around love. You both may be communicating, speaking your truth around love, hence why you're open to a new beginning. So it almost feels as though straight off the bat, um, Aries, it feels as though the, um, the, the early part of 2021, there's going to be something that this person's going to be really disappointed about. Um, and I, I feel it's to do with communication and they're going to be in this mental trap entrapment. Um, but they can break out of it. And I feel as though they will do um, uh, certainly around April, because I feel as though this is a new beginning around this unconditional love. You feel for them and they feel for you. And I feel as though as this cycle closes out, whatever's happened here that's created this disappointment, a new cycle is going to open. And I feel as though you're going to put in the work. They may put in the work and it's all around love. And this makes me feel, um, Aries, it may be you that's going to put in the work because um, you are, you're resting that mind. You are looking at communication. You are, yeah, this is why they're saying to you, remain balanced, remain balanced. Um, and I feel you're going to go inward to really think about this connection, holding on to this connection, um, but trying to put whatever 
is going on over here in the early part of the year, filtering down into the early part of um, the second part of 2021. I feel as though you're going to give it a lot of thought. But what you're going to be putting work into is building this future, this palace of coins with this person. Um, it's as though this new beginning is going to create an abundant, grounded, balanced, nurturing um, environment, connection, or even home. Let's have a look at your clarifiers. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please thank you. Wow. Okay, so we've got the strength card and look at this, we've got the two of wands. Um, okay, you could be dealing with somebody that has Leo in their chart, Aries, or you may have Leo in your chart. And I feel as though this person um, is going to be at a, at a real crossroads. They're using every bit of courage and strength, I feel, to balance themselves over this disappointment. What I don't know yet. Um, but whatever it is, they feel as though they are in a crossroads. They don't quite know what action to take. They may be leaning on their internal wisdom of the best course of action. Hence why I feel they're really analysing, really looking into the detail of this connection with you. Thank you. Look at that judgment. They want reconciliation. Um, and that would explain um, this this lover's card, which is my twin flame card. Um, this person, whatever is disappointing them, um, they're using every bit of strength and courage. That strength card, it does also represent that you both have feelings for each other. Um, it's as though they get you and you get them. It's that, that kind of beauty and the beast. You know how to tame them. They know how to tame you. You just get each other. Um, but there's something that's going to disappoint them around January. Uh, and they're not going to know what action to take. And it's not going to be really, I, I feel, until um, this July that they're going to come forward uh, and probably speak their truth um, because they will have broken out of this mental torture um, and want to reconcile because it's almost as if they're having a heart, an aha moment that you are their ultimate soulmate, twin flame. And look, temperance, applying patience. And as they apply patience, I feel that they're going to be coming in with messages of passion. And I feel as though that's going to happen um, around uh, September of 2021. So they may be coming. Oh, look, there's another card. Oh, look at that. The nine of cups is because whatever, whatever they are being patient about, unsure of which direction, what action to take. Bottom line is around September, they know that you make them happy. They wake up and they have this realisation that you are their twin flame, their ultimate soulmate. And the messages that you may start get coming in, um, Aries, it could be quite light-hearted, a bit flirtatious. Um, yeah, keeping things like, it's almost like reigniting um, the connection. Hence why I feel that you're open um, for a new beginning, closing out a cycle um, and opening a new cycle. This person may not be a great communicator with the Mount of Swords here, Aries, um, but I feel as though you're going to be open to this new beginning with this person, hence the transformation, turn over a new leaf and hold your joy. Um, so whatever is going to kick off around the beginning of 2021, um, Aries, keep yourself balanced. Um, I, I, I almost want to say just, just release the situation um, to divine spirit universe, hold your peace, hold your joy and love yourself, love yourself first. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, thank you. Yeah, look at that. I feel as though you're going to put whatever, whatever is going on in the early part of 2021, while this person kind of wakes up to who you are, I feel as though you're going to try and put it behind you and fight for this connection because 
not only do they see you as um, their happiness and wish fulfillment, you also see them as um, your happiness and your wish fulfillment. And this is um, unconditional love um, for, on both your sides. You know, they have this unconditional love for you, Aries, and you have this unconditional love for them. My angels and spirit guides are thank you. Yeah. And you know what? You're going to be in this mental prison um, around, I, I would say, January, February, March, April. So around April, even though this new beginning is, is there, um, around this love, I feel as though you're going to really think about it. Hence why, uh -huh, okay, now I've got it. Hence why um, in June, I think it's going to take you the, the last three months um, of um, 2021. So that is what, April, May, June. That three months, whatever kicks off there whilst they are waking up to who you are, you're going to want to fight for it, but you're also going to be really thinking quite heavily about it. Um, this cycle is going to close and open up and I feel it's going to be um, after a period of where you're going to go within and I hope Aries keep your balance keep your cool um, and go within and find the information the wisdom the tools within you to help you deal with this situation and look you're scared you're going to be scared when they come back in because it's like, mm, do I, don't I? And look, you're going to speak your truth. Look at that. They're going to be speaking their truth. You might end up speaking your truth first. Around May. As you go within. And it may be out of fear. You may lash out. So be mindful of that. Remember to keep your balance. And I feel that whatever you say, it's going to really have them thinking, which means that they're going to come in and speak their truth. A lot of truth is going to be spoken in 2021, Aries, with the person that you're connecting with. And look, I feel as though you may tell them that, that they need to balance out this connection with you. Look at that, the hangman. You're going to be really reflecting on whatever's going on with this person. Because it's burdensome for you. You may actually tell them, you know what, young lady, geezer, you know, whoever, male or female, it doesn't really matter. You may actually tell them, you know what, I've put in a lot of work into this connection and you're now whatever, whatever it is, I feel as if you're going to tell them that, it, this connection needs to be balanced out in some way in order for you to have this um, new beginning. They may also be coming in and telling you that they need to balance it out, which then puts you in that reflective mode. It might be a bit burdensome for 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 you, but I, I don't feel that. I feel as though it's it's you that's going to speak your truth to close out a cycle. And it may be that wisdom that's coming in to guide you to speak that truth because it, when we then come into um or um july i feel as though this person is going to really look at the detail of whatever you spoke so i feel it's you let's have a look at your outcome oh wow okay this person sees you as long-term commitment marriage um aries thank you Whoa, and they're coming in as a king of coins, slow and steady. That's the new beginning. Oh, do you know what? This may be um, an existing or old love that goes for a bit of a blip early um, 2021. Um, and they're going to wake up and smell the coffee. And they're going to see you for who you are and that is their deep soulmate but they're going to come in slow and steady but when they come in it's going to be it's going to be solid evidently with that four of wands long-term commitment marriage oh i thought something flipped okay my angels and spirit guides thank you look at that this is their energy as well um coming in with this cup of love slow and steady 
Yeah, look at that. After major transformation, releasing what does not serve this connection and what doesn't serve this connection is fear. They're scared. They're scared. You may also see this person as marriage material, um, Aries. Let's get some more insight. My angels and spirit guides, thank you. Yeah, this is your energy, that nine of coins. This person sees you as um, long-term commitment marriage. Thank you. And look, they've been manifesting you. They're going to be manifesting. Whatever's disappointing them, I feel as though... Oh, look at this. Taking strong action around love because you are their happiness. This person is going to go through a transformation. That's who's going through the transformation, Aries. That's who's going through it. That devil is right underneath the transformation. Um, so whatever is disappointing this person, it's around long-term commitment seeing you as marriage material maybe they're just not in a position right now to come in with that and that's what they're disappointed in they're going to come in slow and steady with this cup of love after going through a transformation releasing what doesn't serve this connection which i feel is fear but also you may go through a transform transformation releasing what doesn't serve this connection which is fear because we saw um that you were scared as well with that ten of swords there this um this nine this energy of this nine of coins this is how this person sees you they see you as somebody that's independent abundant grounded balanced um and i feel as though they are manifesting you they want to be in your life and i feel um the middle of um 2021 as all this tete -a -tete is going on with you being upset over analyzing thinking them speaking their truth you speaking your truth um i feel as though they're going to take um strong action towards you and um they or you could be going through a major transformation i feel it's them i feel it's them coming in slowly um going through a transformation waking up to realize that you are their wish fulfillment and they're going to take strong action not only do they have this unconditional love for you they've got the hots for you big time as well aries thank you oh look at that as whatever is being released in this connection that doesn't serve which i feel is fear there's going to be back and forth communication and victory as your bonus card oh my gosh this situation is going to end marvellously um, in 2021. So it seems as though, um, Aries, evidently you two are um, most definitely connected on that twin flame level because there is a learning that this person is going to go through. And I feel as though you have been brought into their life to help them on that journey, um, help this transformation. And I feel as though Divine is letting you know Aha, divine is letting you know, Aries, that when this situation comes in, remain balanced, use your wisdom and just allow this transformation to happen. Let love transform you forever. It feels as though you're still being guided to treat this person with love and kindness. OK, and the tears and the hurt of fear, um, it may be. You're reacting to this person based on past experiences, which is why you're being guided to go within and use your wisdom. You have the knowledge and the experience to get through this and remember to hold your joy, victory in this connection for sure. Thank you. And look, they're just letting us know they're using every bit of strength and courage to come into you with long-term commitment marriage my angels and is there any major arcanas okay so we've got the devil there which is capricorn um yeah capricorn okay my angels and spirit guides of the divine please can you clarify thank woo okay 
Yeah, and the reason why they're using every bit of strength and courage towards you is because they're going to feel left out in the cold and they are want to they're going to want to give to this connection. And that's your energy coming in. They want to give to you. They see you as this um, um, creative, passionate, free-spirited um, person. They've been manifesting you. I feel they're going to be manifesting you when they realise whatever kicked off around this disappointment. Um, I feel as though, um, and look, Aries, you've come out. Yeah, this is this is a hundred percent your energy. They see you as a leader. They see you as this strong, independent, beautiful, handsome person. This is one in the same person. This is how this person sees you. And I feel as though they have been manifesting, wishing, dreaming, feeling left out in the cold, wanting to give to this connection. They are using every bit of strength and courage to come towards you and, and give to this connection because I feel as though... Um, they've been manifesting you and here you come it's this who have I just finished doing Taurus um, it might be worth looking at Taurus um, Aries to see if you resonate with that message in that video it almost feels as though you are their perfect person in every respect but fear is stopping them from moving forward and I feel as though they feel disappointed with themselves they may also be working heavily on their money, their finances, because they see you as somebody that's abundant. So the Aries that I'm speaking to, reading for, I feel as though um, you've got quite a comfortable environment. You, you know, you don't really want for anything. They may be at a different level than you are. You see, look, they're coming in as a knight, a knight and a king. You're coming in as a queen and an emperor. Um, so... That's what they may be disappointed that they can't give you this long term commitment right now. They want to. And they feel kind of left out in the cold. My angels and spirit guides of and the driving force behind this is fear. Fear is so horrible. It does the most peculiar things. <gasps> Look at that. Fear does the most peculiar things to us, um, Aries. Um, you could be, this person may have Aries in their chart, by the way. And look, that Wheel of Fortune right in the middle um, of your outcome cards. This connection is fated. And right underneath there is the, is the Lover's card. And what is fated is to move away from what does not serve this connection, moving towards um, passion, love. And I feel... Do you remember I said that you're going to speak your truth? Here you come, this queen of swords. There's going to be a truth that you speak to this person, uh, Aries. I feel around the latter part of the year, that is, going to, that is going to trigger them into this transformation. And I feel that is where they're going to realise who you are, what you're about, um, and really look at this detail. Um, look at the detail of this connection waking up to realize that you are a very very deep soulmate they may associate it with a twin flame um and look at that intuitively i feel as though you're going to speak your truth you may not even realize um you may not even realize and i feel i straight away i feel this protection card it almost feels as if divine spirit universe your higher self is going to to I want to say speak through you, but you're going to use your intuition to speak some sort of truth to this person that's going to trigger them to go into transformation, major transformation and recognizing that you are their happiness. This person may also see you. Um, this person holds you in high regard, you know, Aries. Look, I, I feel they see you that you, um, you are comfortable, so you're not after them for their money. They see you as passionate, um, free-spirited. You speak your mind, you're honest. You may be a bit, um, uh, a bit blunt at times. Um, they see you as somebody that's very spiritual. They see you as a strong leader. They, they do see you quite favourably. OK, and the key thing with them, their energy is coming in as that king of um, coins. They're, they're balanced. They're, 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 they're balanced 
um, nurturing with a lot of love, a lot of passion for you. With this magician card, they may be just as intuitive as you are, um, Aries. Yeah, look at this. We've got the moon card. I feel as though as you speak your truth, reflecting um, on this connection, releasing what does not serve you, turn over a new page, allow um, Mother Earth to come in and blow away those tears with her beautiful, beautiful wind and fill your heart with the fragrance of love. Um, as you work through what is coming to light, you may not really know how this person feels. And I feel as you release possibly fear, not knowing, um, I feel as though you're being guided to just operate from a place of love, which is why I feel, Aries, that your cards around the transformation, turn over a new page and return to joy, it's about loving yourself. And even though you might feel a little bit um, taken aback from whatever is triggering this person to be um disappointed um i feel with themselves that then triggers a new beginning um them want to take a leap of faith with you you want to take a leap of faith with them a cycle closing a cycle uh, a new cycle opening whatever triggered those turn of events i feel as though you're being guided so strongly to operate from that place of love because I feel as though they're going to they're going to come round. They will. And look, I mean, the sun card. This is a victorious connection. Let's get some final outcome cards. My angel. Thank you. OK. You could be dealing with somebody that has Pisces in their chart. Pisces is popping up. Aries is popping up. Leo is popping up. Capricorn, we said already. OK, the hermit. Yeah, look at that. After a period of going within, I feel as though they're going to really wake up to this connection. And I kind of felt that all the way through the cards. You could be dealing with somebody that has Virgo in their chart, Aries, or you may have Virgo in your chart. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you tell me the final outcome to the question? Thank you. Look, whatever wisdom they are um, seeking wishing for manifesting praying um they're gonna wake up and realize that you are their wish fulfillment you make them happy um aries you make them happy that's the bottom line and that is that real deep soul connection thank you oh so we have got the three of wands we have the palace of cups yeah they're gonna go within their emotions they may get dreams, signs, synchronicities. Remember what I said with this magician. They might be quite spiritual themselves. And I feel as they go within, wishing, praying, asking for guidance, wisdom around this happiness that they feel with you, they're waiting. And I feel that the outcome after waiting, waiting for an answer from divine spirit, waiting for signs, synchronicities, they're going to get it. Um, and I feel as they're going to get it in dreams, visions so and that's going to be transforming transformational for them to wake up to know that you are their wish fulfillment to come in with this cup of love and take that action towards you and it will be successful with this um sun card final card is yep and i feel as though you're going to be watching watching this connection um yeah because you don't forget whatever whatever triggered change whatever triggered this change look let love lead the way for change something in this connection obviously is going to go through a, a a major change that this person is going to go through a transformation um you may go through the transformation yourself um aries because it is on your side but the way that i read it with this knight of cups um, I feel as though they're going to be waiting. They may wait for you for a transformation, but I feel as though either you or them is going, are going to get some sort of vision, dreams, some sort of divine intervention that is protected. This palace of cups is protected. This connection is protected. And I feel that as if you're going to, you're going to watch this person 
um, closely with their communication. You may watch your communication with this person, releasing what doesn't serve you. And let's get final clarifications. Thank you. Look at that. They're realising that the work has been put in and they now want to fill in this basket. And that is after going through a period of wisdom. Um, do you remember we saw um, that card of the Six of Coins, Aries, where I felt that you were te speaking your truth and saying, you, you need to balance this out, young lady, mate whatever you whoever your per partner is i feel as though you're you're going to tell them you need to balance this out and i feel as though they're going to wake up um and they may get some sort of sign synchronicity dream vision that actually um there's a lot of nurturing and the seeds of this connection have been planted and it's been planted for some time and they are fully grown and all they need to do is bring it together um with you and I feel they're going to be happy. Happiness. Please, can you clarify the final outcome cards? Thank you. Look, major transfer. This, do you know what? This person obviously is going through waking up to their emotions. Yeah, they're going to want to fight for this. Whatever they're going through, Aries, just remember to treat this person with love, peace and light. Because they will figure it out. They will figure it out. I feel as if they're scared. You've triggered something within them that is part of their transformation. It's part of their growth. And look, divine counterpart, that king of swords with that queen of swords back here. Um, yeah, this person is quite blunt. <laughs> they might be just as cutting and quite blunt as you are. And do you know what? You can't make this stuff up. To get two sons come through in two separate decks and this one is coming in right in the middle of your reading, there is going to be success over communication and whoever's... Well, look, the three, the three of wands again. Whatever this person is waiting for, that it's going to be successful. And I feel as though it's around this, this cup of love and taking the action to express it, to be honest. And boy, are they with that King of Swords. And it's going to be done with wisdom. Yeah, they've got to go within and recognise who you are. Major transformation for this person, um, Aries. Oh, my angels and spirit guides, please can you clarify the final outcome cards thank you look at that they see they, they see you as the empress that empress is coming out again the emperor and the empress came out so again another sign that divine counterparts and then the star they are waking up transforming that you make them happy and that you've lived past life together that twin flame connection is pretty darn strong, um, Aries. And look, that Knight of Wands, you may, um, they may come in a little bit unsure, um, a little bit inconsistent, or that could be you because I feel as though they're watching, watching this connect. And look, communication again. So communication may be a little bit back and forth. Um, either between you, either on your side, um, Aries, or their side. It might be your side because whatever kind of is going on with this person that triggered um, wanting a new beginning, closing a cycle so a new cycle can um, happen, um, it's obviously something that derailed this connection for a hot minute. I feel as though you're going to be watching, listening to this communication with this person. They may be a little bit inconsistent. You may be a little bit inconsistent with your communication. Um, just remember, Aries, to operate from that place of love and peace and return to joy. Return to joy. OK, let's have a look at your. Wow. Straight away. Intuition. Trust your intuition. It has been guiding you to the answers that you seek. And I feel as though, Aries, this is your inner wisdom, your higher self, divine spirit universe, letting you know they are protecting you. 
They're guiding you. They're showing you the way to the knowledge and the wisdom that is within you to keep you grounded, to hold your peace and to trust. Trust divine universe, your higher self. They're not going to let you rock, go wrong. They're not going to let you go wrong. And look at that stillness. Reflect on this moment with love, kindness and compassion. What did I just say, Aries? Treat this situation with love, peace, light. Inner world. Your external world is a reflection of your inner world. And that's why I feel as though you're being guided to hold your peace. Because if you, if you, um, if you get yourself unbalanced in this situation... It's going to re reflect outward. So whatever is going on while this person is going through this transformation, allow them to just go through it. Don't take it on board. It's not yours. Move on. Focus on yourself. Love yourself. This person is coming back round. OK, Aries, I'm going to leave that there. What a compelling um, uh, message for you. Uh, wow. Um, I am. Um, yeah, I, I, I just wish you all the luck with this. Um, just remember, if there's anything that you take from it, just take, hold your peace and love yourself first because this person does love you. They're just scared. Okay, Aries, if this message resonates for you, please feel free to click that thumbs up on the video so that it can get pushed out to more Aries. Also, if you would like to um, know when I'm uploading new messages, please, please feel free to subscribe. Um, uh, it helps to uh, support the channel, but also I just want to say thank you because I, I am really grateful when I see the subscriptions going up. It makes me feel um, that joy that I'm I'm doing something right. Um, this is all very new to me. It's something that I was led to do many, many, many years ago. Avoided it, didn't want it, didn't you know. And just one day it just happened and it's it's just been amazing. So Aries, any more information that you want, please feel free to check out that information box below. Um, especially if you want to follow me on Instagram. I haven't posted anything on there for a couple of days simply because I've been working on the yearlies, the monthlies and the weekends so that they could all get launched and, and posted um, literally on the 1st of January. Um so feel free to follow me there. Um, and other than that, all I can really say is I look forward to um, receiving and delivering your messages for 2021. Um, I hope I get the same energies, the same crowds, um, but, you know, different Aries, different situations. You never know what you're going to get from week to week, uh, weekend to weekend, month to month. Um, Aries, um, look forward to the journey with you. Um, and the last thing to say is really happy new year. Um, I'm sending you loads and loads of love, peace and light. Um, happy, happy new year. Take care. Bye bye.